Five rules to flag building. Mr. Mack. Keep it simple. A flag, they say, should be so simple that a child can draw it from memory. Kids have fun drawing Japan's flag, but not so much fun with Tzemeckistan's elaborate carpet-like pattern. Use meaningful symbolism. The Star of David in Israel's flag carries great meaning. However, the symbol of the rifle found in Mozambique's flag may not be the most positive icon to represent a country. Three, use two to three basic colors. Most flags get this right. Clearly, South Africa did not get this memo. It has six colors on its flag. No letters or seals. Mexico has incorporated an extremely complicated seal into its flag. An evil eagle holding a serpent purchased atop a prickly pear cactus, atop of a rock that hovers over a lake. Try drawing that, kids. Five, be distinctive or relative. I understand why Scandinavian flags are a part of a family. Notice on the left. But Australia's and New Zealand flags are virtually identical. One of the worst flags. I take this a little personally because it's our own state flag. New Jersey. New Jersey took their seal and placed it on a flag. Notice there's a horse head, a diver's helmet, a cap, two ladies, three plows, and a, oh my gosh, this is the worst, right? Also, it has lettering on it. These type of uh, symbols are used to be a seal. For So for an example, they would take a wax uh, and put it on a, a document, and then they would press the seal into the document to uh, make a statement. This is not a very good flag. Thank you, and have a nice day. Okay, what we're going to do today is take Microsoft Paint and some pictures off the internet and make a school flag for East Hampton. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, Microsoft Paint. The easiest way to get there, probably for those of you who do not have it onto your taskbar, is just write Paint into the search. I'm going to arrange the white area into something that looks like a three by five card. Now, if you were to look at a flag up on a flagpole, you would want it to be big enough so everybody can see it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange and design my flag how I want people to see it from a distance. I'm a fan of the Union Jack, the British flag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my original design in that genre. I'm also going, to, also going to use our school colors, blue and gold. I'm going to do parallel lines. Now note, this is a preliminary design, so everything doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but it should be appealing to the eye. If I don't like something, I minimize and try to fix the error. Okay, so I like for the outside, I like for the outside, I'm going to do blue. So I'm going to change the paint fill can. And I'm going to do the outside blue. And on the inside, I'm going to do yellow. And what's nice about this is uh, once I get the yellow stripes in, I'm going to color so it's all into the center. And now I'm going to give myself some room on the right-hand side so I can put a picture into the center. Now, 
it's very important that you remember that your picture has to be large and so a little kid can draw it. Your symbolism has to represent the institution that you're making the flag for. So for an example, if this was a football team, I might want to incorporate a football into the flag. Or if it's a school, I might want to incorporate the mascot into the flag. Now, East Hampton's mascot is the Golden Knights. So what we're going to do is we're going to go look for a knight's helmet or a knight's shield or something that represents our school. One of the things that I like to do or I like to uh, websites that I like to use is uh, clip art. This is a royalty fleet free clip art site. It allows me to use the clip art and I don't have to write anybody and explain to them why I'm using their uh, their symbol. Also, be aware that if you're going to make the flag for something that makes money, right, you copyright laws do. Uh, are in force. So what happens is you have to get permission uh, to use somebody's copyrighted symbols. A lot of times you can tell the copyrighted symbols by the way that they have a uh, copyright symbol right on top of the picture. So you, there's no mistaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the word night. And I'm going to search. Now you'll notice there's a bunch of pictures of nights and I look through, but I want mine to remain extremely simple. I like this symbol right here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy image. I'm going to go back to paint. And I'm going to copy it on. Now this is an extremely large picture. So what I'm going to have to do is find the end. I'm going to select all, find a corner. I'm going to start making this smaller so I can fit it on my uh, picture. Now, remember, you want to keep, crop it so it doesn't change the actual picture. So if you, if you crop uh, on one of the bars on the wrong spot, what will happen is... it will uh, change the uh, uh, picture size and you, you don't want to do that. Now you'll note that I have my uh, flag, okay? And I have the picture that I want to place on the flag. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some subtle changes in color so I can use this night picture uh, on top of my flag. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the black on the picture. So I change the color. Now I think I'm going to change the yellow color to a darker color blue and make the inside because we're the Golden Knights there. I'm going to highlight, select the picture. Make sure you remember to transparent the section so that when you move your picture over, it moves over nicely. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. Okay. Notice that I followed all the rules for this. A child can draw it. There is symbolism. I use two to three colors, and there's no lettering. The last thing I need to do is I need to take out the extra white space. And then I am done with my flag. Have a nice day.